Hey party people, it is Wednesday! So, I forgot to call the jury duty hotline last night, which is stupid because you have to call every day and like find out if you're supposed to be there at 8 a.m. in the next day. How dumb is that, that I forgot? Anyway, well, not like I don't have a ton of other stuff going on, right? Uh, so, forgot to call, but called this morning, found out I have to call in at 10.30 this morning to find out if I have to report at 12.15. So I might actually have to go down there at 12.15 and like report for jury duty. And if I have to do that, I have to go through the orientation and everything and then I'll probably get placed on a case. And God knows how long I'll have to go reporting after that because it's only supposed to last until the weekend. I'm supposed to be done. And so, having me do this on, like, the third to last day is really not cool. And I'm fucking supposed to train a new person at work today, which is not going to happen if I have to go to jury duty because, like, okay, like, 10.15 in the morning, that's really fucking early, man, to have to, or 10.30. It's still really early in the day to have to call in for something like that. And then to leave... To be there at 12.15 means I have to leave St. Paul to get to Anoka. I have to leave St. Paul, like, immediately after I call to go. So I could basically be going to St. Paul for, like, an hour, which is retarded. Sorry, but it's fucking stupid to have to go all the way down to St. Paul and then go all the way up to Anoka. And some people don't even get into the courtroom like, they don't even pick some people because they object to something in the case or, like, they have an emotional, you know, attachment to something that's in the case so they can't serve on the jury because they'd be biased and this and that. Like, there's a whole selection process you have to go through, so it's likely that I wouldn't even get placed on a case even if I did go through all that. Like, the likelihood that something even goes to trial is really small like my coworker went to jury duty and the first day he was there like we thought he was going to be out at least the entire week right so I start reassigning all his work and this and that and um, he shows up at noon and he's like hey guys we're like what the hell we thought you were going to be gone and he's like no dude the judge threw the case out wasn't enough evidence to continue with the trial and so I don't have to go. I hope they throw it out before I get there. I mean, before I call, like, before I get to the point of having to go down there. Anyway, I'll, uh, probably update later on what went on. I, I mean, if I get on a trial, I can't say anything about the trial, but I can at least tell you if I'm, if I have to go down there or not, so wish me luck today. In other news, we're out of groceries, so I was planning on doing something about that today, during the in-between times in my day, if I have any, but uh, if jury duty happens, I don't think that that's going to be a reality, so we'll see. Hmm. I'm super stressed, I hate this. I hate not knowing plans. I hate not knowing what's going on. So. Dude, check out this motorcycle that just pulled up next to me. This guy's got a literal spike on his helmet. Check this out. What is this? What is this, you guys? <laughs> what the fuck is on that helmet, man? <laughs> Can you hear that music too? Wow. Wow. Sure has a lot of chrome on that bike. Oh man. 
I'm gonna continue to be a giant ball of stress until I know what's going on. It sucks, I can't turn it off. There's nothing I can do about it. Like, I was, my mind was so gone on this that when I went to go make my coffee to take with me, like, you always put the cup under the spout before you turn the coffee on, right? Like, when you make a Keurig. Like, you put the cup in there. That's like the first thing. First step, put the cup. Second step, do the little thing to actually make the coffee. Like, put the pot in. Secure the pot in there. And then you press the button to start it, right? So, sometimes in the morning, like, I'll set the cup under there ahead of time. Just to, you know, get ready. Make things go a little faster, like, when I'm running out the door. But, uh today I didn't do that which may be a little you know sometimes I do it sometimes I don't so it's not necessarily out of routine to not put it in there but I went to go start the stupid coffee I put the Keurig in there I secure the pod in there and then I press the button there's no cup under there <laughs> it didn't even click like it didn't even phase me that there was no cup under there I just I don't even know and so I start it, I walk away, I go and get Max his cookies to put in his kennel. I come back and I'm like, what the hell is happening? Like, I'm like, what is going on? And so I had to like, I had to like open the Keurig to like get the pot out of there, push the button to turn, I turn the machine off. That's like the only way to stop the, the brewing cycle is you have to turn the machine off. So I turn the machine off, open it, pull the cup out and so glad I had paper towels in the house. So I had to like paper towel up all the mess. Then I had to turn it on and like wait for it to heat up all over again and this and that. And and then it's like, okay, there's no electronics um, allowed in the courtroom. So what do you do with your cell phone? Like what are you supposed to do with this stupid thing? I understand like why they don't allow them. But at the same time, can't you just turn it off and leave it in your pocket or in your purse or something? And I'm sure they think, well, if people do that, then they're just going to pull it out when they get bored and turn it back on. And then it's going to be an interruption, this and that. But it's just, I don't want to leave it somewhere. Like they said they have lockers and that's great, but I don't carry quarters with me. And just my luck, I'll show up down there and they'll be like, this costs a dollar seventy-five to rent this locker for fifteen minutes, and then I'll be shit out of luck. And so I don't know. Like I have to be able to tell Jason if he has to pick up AJ today. Um, how can I tell Jason if he has to pick up AJ if I don't know? if I'm going to be at the courthouse until after the time I would need to get down there to pick AJ up because it's not like they tell you like how long it's going to take you know they don't tell you like your day will start at XYZ time and then it will end at XYZ time because they don't know it's all up to the judge if you're you know if you end up getting picked for a, a thing so and even for the orientation day like that's what they said it would be for is for orientation um but they didn't say how long orientation would take. Not on the letter they send you. They don't tell you on the phone message that you have to call every day. They they don't tell you ahead of time like any of this. So it's like it's a pain in the ass to figure all this out. It really is. So that's part of the reason I'm stressing. The other reason is like, what is work gonna do? I'm the one that's supposed to train this person on their first day and the rest of the week, they're supposed to be training with me. So if I'm not there, then I'm, who else is gonna be able to do it? I mean, everybody else is busy, has their own stuff going on. And they're, they're not specialists in the area that we're gonna be training them in. They don't know the proper procedures for all this stuff. I mean, they use it, but they don't necessarily know, like, this is what we're supposed to be doing because X, Y, Z, because they're not 
they don't see it from that side. They see it from the side of like, this is a system I have to use to get my work done. And sometimes they tell me to do it a certain way. You know what I mean? It's not, they're not like in, involved in the design process with it, so. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go listen to some Planner Girl chatter. Um, and try to calm down and breathe a little bit. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later.